Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today as you can see guys, we got the Super Battle Droid from Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. First and foremost, I'd like to give a huge shout out to ToysForKittles.com for sending me this figure. Guys, don't forget to use coupon code FABSFIGURES when you shop there. So let's get right into the figure guys. So the figure, as you can see, is very basic. Nothing to it. I'm going to show you guys the entire figure. So it comes with the base, it comes with this attachment, this is for removing the arm and making it look like it's missing an arm, so battle damage look, right, this attachment, I'm going to show you guys how to put it on, and that's it guys, as you can see I have the light up function on, let me bring it over real quickly. So the figure stands, here's a light up function, it, it takes two AAA batteries, um, in the back, this compartment here opens up, and this is where the batteries are inserted. Here we go. So, there it is. Here's the switch on and off. There's a screw. So, like I said, two triple A's. Um, guys, the articulation on the figure is very, very nice, right? So, it moves very well. Very limited as well, but it moves very very smoothly the elbows as you can see very smoothly um the hands articulate very very nicely as if he was punching look at that the thumb also moves look at that so it moves it folds here's the weapons right there again let me show you guys how it bends all of this articulates really nicely, right? The thumb, you got to get out of the way. The legs, very nice. The knees, very nice. The ankles don't pivot, but they move up and down very, very nicely. Um, the torso, guys, the torso has our back, right? It only goes back. It doesn't go forward much, right? So there's no ab crunch, only an extension, a back extension. That's it. Um, weighs nothing, feels very, very light. Um, this is, I feel like, another piece that Hot Toys should have done in Diecast because of the fact that it's a nothing figure, meaning there's not much to it, there's not a lot of meat. I think it would have been an easy way for them to pull off a Diecast. You could have added some Diecast on the joints up here or somewhere in here just to give it some weight. Um, these figures need the weight, especially metallic figures like these. I said the same thing about Cyborg. They missed out on a huge opportunity to make that figure way better than it is. The figure is still a 10, right? That head scope is a 10. The, the detail on that Cyborg is a 10. The problem is without that weight, it does not feel realistic and it does not feel metallic like it should. Same thing with this. The height is great. The presence is great. You don't need too much articulation for this. Right, because you you just need it as a as a as a robot standing up. They don't articulate much. They don't do much. Even the head sculpt doesn't do anything. So, why not make these figures, these metallic figures, with some weight on them? I don't understand. I I get that you know it's more cost effective to not add anything to it, right? Regarding diecast, but it makes the figure feel like it's worth that much more money. This is not expensive, um, for what it is. But it could have been cheaper. Again, we know what we pay for. We pay for what it is. We pay for the license. We pay for the artistry on it. We pay for the paint application. We pay for all this stuff, right? So obviously adding die cast to this would make it that much more expensive. So I understand, but I feel like these figures need the weight. They just It's just a must for these figures. Because again, look, this is light as a feather. Again, does it matter? Not really. Are you going to constantly be picking it up? Not really. This is going to stand right next to your figures, and it's just going to sit there. However you display, it's just going to sit there. So let me show you guys how to remove this arm here. So it pops out from here, not the bottom, because the bottom extends. So as you can see, this extends all the way out. So it goes in and comes out, right? So it pops from here. So all you got to do is carefully twist it, and there you go. pops right out. You don't have to worry about breaking it. And what happens is you put this one in 
and there it is. So now you have the no arm look or the battle damage look or the missing arm look, right? Very nice, but are you really going to... I mean, unless you have two of these, are you really going to use that? I'm not. I'd rather have the full figure than, you know, have it missing an arm. It's already a nothing figure, a bare bones figure, so I really want it to just be complete. Um, like I said, if I get a second one, then maybe that's how I would display the second one, you know, missing an arm so they don't look exactly the same. Um, but guys, the figure, you know, when it comes to detail... When it comes to articulation, it's perfect. It does what it's supposed to do. It looks exactly like it should, right? So there's no complaints with that. My only issue with this figure and only issue is the weight. Again, same thing I said about Cyborg. These figures, these metallic looking figures need that weight to make them feel legit, to make them feel good, to make them feel like they're worth the money we're paying for because they are expensive for what they are. Again, this is a nothing figure, but... It's necessary if you're completing, if you're trying to complete the uh, Attack of the Clones line, right? Uh, obviously, a lot of people will get multiples of these. I just need one. Uh, the the uh, Geonosis droids, I would love to get a second one. I only have one of those because um, I didn't think I would need a second one. But what happened was I ended up using that one as a C-3PO uh, style, right? So I put that C-3PO head on that Geonosis droid to give it that look. And I have the Geonosis droid head on the C-3PO. Again, just to, to break it up, to make it look different. Um, so that's why I would like this a second Geonosis droid, just to have them standard, right? The full, just like this, the full standard droid. But it is what it is. Um, again, so I'll give this figure a 9, just because, again, it's missing the weight. But overall, it's perfect. I have no complaints about the figure whatsoever. Um, it is what it is. As always, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.